I wanted to show a few things on these cases just to give you an idea what's in them. We have a nice catches on the front. Definitely hold it nice and secure. We got strap hinge, T nuts in the back. So we ensure it stays on. We have stay hinges, hold the lid open, rubber feet on the bottom so that when we set it down on the ground, like such, we're not scratching anything. And on the bottom we have rubber feet so when we lay it down on the table, like that, we won't be scratching anything. And this metal plate that you see right there, that's just to protect the toe legs so that when we set this on the mic stand, it doesn't start scarring up the toe legs. Now the case itself, open it up here. Basically has a few different attributes. <clears throat> we have magnets embedded in the back behind this toe legs. Basically the wire will find the magnet itself. And then you put your paper in and just let it snap in and it'll hold your set list or whatever you want to put in there in place. Down below here we have a magnet that will hold this wing nut in place so it kind of doesn't get lost. And after we've set this mic stand over the uh, or the case over the mic stand, you'll see this part of the uh, reducer protruding. And we can take our wing nut if you'd like and uh, thread it on. It will definitely hold this nice and snug. Someone tries to steal your case, they're going to take the stand with it. Kind of hard thing to take outside. Anyway, so then we have an area here to hold all your different equipment mics, pedals, cords. And then over here we have harmonicas. And I put a lot of different brands in here just to kind of show you that it does accept different shapes and different types. Regardless of the cutout that you see here, it still will conform to the harp that you're putting in. Uh, initially, when you put your harmonicas in, they're going to be very, very snug on the onset. But after they've been in there for a short, very short time, this gap will start to change um, the way it looks. And they'll snap in pretty easy. So anyway, after we put our harps in, and, uh, and we have Golden Melody, Cone Chang, that's a uh, Honer, Suzuki. And you can see we got Seidel's on the bottom, Lee Oscars. So basically after I've taken my equipment out, I can move this tray over to the left. Now I have 12 harmonicas on the bottom presented towards me. Another, another 12 over here. And, you know, if you don't have that many, or even if you do, you can still put a drain glass on top of there. And, uh, top of the harps you're not playing. <laughs> and uh, so you've got a kind of a tray. Likewise, it gives you a place to also set your microphone so it's not necessary that you really have to have the contraptions that they make to put on the stands so it's kind of an all-in-one thing so and you have to learn to pull your harmonicas out by the corners basically there's not enough room here to grab in the middle and pull it out so pretty much just grab your harp and you see this one's already starting to conform you're going to push push in push and then down real easy process and uh, basically that is it and this is my standard stock case if you think you need more well we can always talk about a custom build okay one more thing just wanted to let you know this little item that you see right here is a reducer that will be supplied that goes onto your mic stand so that it can be presented through that plate now this is my kick around set and the foam in this it is about three years old. I've had a couple of people ask me, how long does the phone last? I don't know, it's time tested. But, years old, but you can see, nothing's coming out. So, um, what I wanted to also let people know is, all my cutouts for my harps are shaped like that. Because that's the standard, basically I fit this for the smallest harmonica, which is a marine band. Um, however, as I said, you can see, Sidels or any of these shapes will fit. Now notice, eventually this will conform um, to the shape of the harp. Initially, it looked like that. Now if I left this harmonica out for about 24 hour period, that shape 
we'll go back to that. It's kind of kind of like a memory thing. So if at a later date I decide I want to change positions of my harp, so I don't have to worry about that stain like that. It can, you know, shrink back down to something. So right now it's, this would be kind of loose. But if I give it 24 hours, let it go back to that shape. Like I said, it'd be nice and snug. As you can see they pop in nice and easy. And so basically it's insert, push to the left or right, depending on which hand you are, push down. And that's it.